hi welcome back to the channel i'm so glad to see you it's kind of a gray day outside today but it's often gray because i do live in the pacific northwest <laughs> but that is why we have a latte <laughs> anyway i'm glad that you've joined me again for today's video um in this video i'm going to show you how to do a two-part a uh, procreate brush a texture brush so that you can make a pattern and apply two different colors to it um, so you'll select one brush and pre uh, paint across part of the pattern and you can use whatever color you want and then you'll take another brush and paint the other part of the pattern in a different color if you'd like so let's go ahead and get started and we're going to start with a four by six um, a canvas size that we're going to set a grid for so let's go and jump inside of procreate Okay, so I've opened up the brushes here so you can see what I'm talking about with this two-step texture brush idea that we have going on here. So here's my step one, and I've created the pattern already, which I will show you how to make in just a moment. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and select like this gray color and step one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint, whoops. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, and, okay, I'm just gonna paint over the top of this. And so this is what step one looks like. And then for another color for step two, I'm just gonna shoot, select black there. And now I can paint over the top of that. And it makes a really great two colored, wow, this looks crazy kind of <laughs> pattern. <laughs> but these are really fun patterns to use on a variety of different layouts. And so it's one of my uh, kind of more commonly used patterns. So I wanted to show you how to do that and how it's really easy to then play with the colors here when you've done it as a two-step uh, texture. So let's go ahead and get started with creating this thing. Okay, so I've got a um, my, my, my six by four open here and we're gonna go here and select the drawing guide and then go ahead and edit the drawing guide. Now, I'm, I like to use inches here when I'm working. So it's, uh, so I just go ahead and select inches and then one and it gives me that nice one by one squares inside of the four by six. And I can adjust my thickness so I can see it better and the opacity so I can really see it. So that's what I've done. Once you're satisfied with that, then just go ahead and tap done. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have black selected. And I'm just going to go down to my uh, calligraphy pens here and select monoline. Okay, and then I'm just going to start drawing here. And I'm going to draw, let's see, yeah, that's probably about a good size. That looks like it's probably 17% or thereabouts. And so I'm going to start down here at this corner. And just above where the line goes across for the grid, I'm going to start drawing a line. I don't have to be too perfect because I'm going to use smart shapes here. And then I'm going to cross over right here so that the top of this line right here is right at the edge of the center line and uh, the cutoff point for the canvas. And I kind of want to have the same thing going on over here. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the shape so that I can really get this the way I want it. So I'm just going to blow this up so you can see it. So what I want is I want the edge of the line to really kind of come right down and kind of right where the edge of the canvas and this line intersect. That's where I want the edge of this line to be. We're going to try to be as, as close to um, exact there as we can. And then I'm going to kind of look at the other edge here. And I'm going to blow this up so you can really see it. So there's one little pixel dot right there. So I want to bring this up just oh, right there. Okay. And um, that way the point goes right to the top there. Okay. So once I'm satisfied with that, I'm just going to tap out into the workspace. Now I'm going to tap and hold my eraser so it selects the same brush that I've been using. And then I'm just going to go ahead and erase very carefully right up to the line because I want my point to really be right there on that line. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to squish this all back down. Okay, and... Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and um, let's select my pen again, my brush, and then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. So tap the layers, slide gently to the left, and tap duplicate. And then I'm going to come over to my scale move tool, transform tool, and I'm going to flip this horizontally, and then I'm going to position it right up next to, yep. And I have, just so you know, I have my snapping, both magnetics and snapping tool on. And I'm also looking to see, like, I want to make sure that it's lined up right along the same places that it was over here. And once I'm satisfied with that, I can just tap out 
and that looks great. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, tap this layer and select merge down and this is going to be the basis for all of my lines for this pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and I'm going to select the transform tool and just move this down one square. There we go. It just kind of snaps into place. It's great. Okay, now we're ready to go. So tap out of the transform there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start putting our color in here. And um, so I'm going to actually turn off the grid because now there's a lot of black and it's confusing my brain. So <laughs> I'm going to go over to the wrench and then under canvas, I'm just going to deselect that tool. So now it's out. Okay, so the next thing I want to do so I'm going to go over to my layers and I'm just going to squish all of these layers together so that they merge and become one layer. And then I'm going to turn on reference and then I'm going to add a new layer above. Okay. And now for my reference layer, I'm uh, actually the new layer above. I want to start dropping some color in and I'm actually going to uh, drop in the color white. So I want to be able to see this. So I'm going to go back to layers and I'm going to turn off that background layer. And then I'm going to select my color white and this will just make for a, a, a more vibrant texture in the end. So, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and let's see, I'm going to drop the color into this little corner right here. Oops. Well, ideally this little corner right there, this little corner right there. And this actually is going up into this right here, this, this one chevron right here. Perfect. Okay, that's awesome. So that's the first part of our pattern. So now we're going to go ahead and turn off the visibility of that reference layer. And we're going to go over to our wrench and we're going to select add. And then we're going to copy canvas. And then we're going to go over and either create a new set or if you have a set that you use for development, you can use that. But I'm just going to go ahead and go into this new set and I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And okay, so with the set selected here, I'm just going to tap this new uh, new brush plus sign right there. And then I'm going to go to the grain and I'm going to select edit and I'm going to import and select paste. And I know it looks a little bit weird, but trust me, it's okay. It just shows you a, a shape in a square and we actually have a rectangular shape, but that's okay. It's just the view here. You don't have to worry. It's actually going to work out all right. So when you've got that placed, you can go ahead and tap done. And then we're going to select texturized and I'm going to pull the scale down to somewhere actually maybe about eight. Yeah. Well, eight or seven. That looks pretty good. Okay. And with it textured, it's just going to be a certain place on the canvas itself. So if you pick up your finger, it's okay. You can still continue and it'll lay down the pattern the way that you intend if you're using it as a, like say a seamless pattern for a page or something like that. Okay. So we're just going to remember that we scaled down to seven and, um, and that we changed it to textured and we should give this a name. We're going to call this, uh, just uh, step one, uh, step one, chevron. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And done. Okay. Now to save myself just a little bit of time and make sure that I get all the same settings in the next one. I'm just going to go ahead and slide this gently over and tap duplicate. And then I'll know because it's got this little one on uh, attached to it all that I need to, um, go ahead and change the name later on. And that is my copy. Okay. So now let's go back to our layers here and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility for, well, let's see, actually I'm going to leave the visibility on here and I'm going to add a new layer here. And then I'm going to go back to my reference layer and now I need the white right in here. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure that that's the layer that's selected. And then we're going to just grab our white and whoops, whoa, <laughs> and just drop right in there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and turn off the visibility of this layer and the visibility of this layer and just have the visibility of this one layer. Okay. And now we are ready to go ahead and uh, 
hit the wrench, add, and copy canvas. And then we're going to go over to our brushes and we're going to select that one that we just copied, give it a tap, select green, edit, and then import and paste. And this is our other shape. And then we can tap done. Okay, and then we're ready to tap. Oh, we should probably change the name actually. So let's go ahead and get rid of the one and then come over here and change that to step two chevron and done. Okay, now let's go ahead and test it all out. We're gonna add our background color back in and create a new layer. And then let's go ahead and do step one and let's choose a color like, I don't know, this nice little Christmas red there. And let's go ahead and brush that on. And actually let's give a, that's a bigger swath there so I don't have to work so hard. And that lays down that color for me. Kind of cool. And then let's go ahead and select, uh, oops, the next brush. And you know, it's actually not a bad idea since I was looking at the layers there to add the next one on a different layer. So you can really change and manipulate the colors if you need to make any changes. So we've got the second layer uh, selected. We got the second brush selected. So let's get a different color like, well, that nice green right there. Okay, and then just, whoa, having a little bit of a memory problem here. There we go. Okay. And I forgot something right there, so let's add that in. Like I say, because this is a uh, texture, uh, uh, you can pick up your finger and lay it back down because it's just uh, it's just a pattern that uh, adheres to the canvas itself. It doesn't move around, so that's kind of nice. All right, it's got a little there. And there you go. You have a nice little Christmas pattern, and you could like upload. Oh, pardon me. Upload that to something like Society Six and get yourself some wrapping paper. It's kind of cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed making it, and I uh, even though this makes me a little bit dizzy, <laughs> it's always fun to make patterns in Procreate. And if you have liked this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video, and also ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos become available. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope your day is amazing.